Hey guys, Matt from Evolve Fitness. This video is all about are you breathing wrong? Sounds ridiculous, but I just want to take you back to when we would have been tribes people, um, not sat down all the time. We would have been lying down or sat on the floor. No such thing as chairs. Sounds ridiculous, but it's true. Just for a second right now, breathe in as deep as you can, as deep as you possibly can. Seriously, do it. Now, I just want you to realize, did you do this? Everything raised up, okay? Relax, let your breath out. What that shows is that you've actually been, you've adapted your breathing to your lifestyle. Here's why. Us in the modern day world, we sit at offices, we drive cars, and we spend lots of time in a very unnatural position, which is a seat. We should be sit, sat on the jungle floor, or stood up, or lying down. The problem is, is we should be breathe when we breathe in as deep as we can, it should look like this. If you watch a child or a tribes person, someone that hasn't spent a lot of time in seats, their stomach expands out, their rib cage expands out. Everything should move. Your diaphragm, when it actually flattens down, it should massage your internal organs, which helps with detoxification. The thing is, in the bottom of your lungs, your alveoli, the little sacs that translate oxygen into your blood, um, the majority of them are actually in the bottom quarter of your lungs. So when you breathe in deep, that's the last part to expand, but it gets the most amount of oxygen oxygenization. Here's the problem. When we're sat down, we're not expanding out, we're not filling up properly the bottom parts of those lungs. We're actually bringing it up into our rib cage, which is very limited because of the fact that we're used to sitting in cars and sitting in, in chairs. So when we go rather than but expand out, we actually are doing ourselves very short of oxygen. This is also a bad thing because what happens when we're in the fight or flight? anxiety or in a stress state we have very shallow breathing or rapid breathing so if you were suddenly scared you would breathe very shallow or you know when you get in that panic state the problem is if people are slouched over like this and they have to breathe up into their lungs it's very shallow breathing it can have a physiological effect on you which actually can affect, affect your brain and put you in a more of an anxious state of mind sounds rubbish okay i want you to try something Close your eyes. Imagine you're in a completely white room. Um, there's no windows, no doors, just a faint smell of lavender. Seriously do this, keep your eyes closed. And you see a fridge. Go over to the fridge. Open the fridge and you see there is a lemon. Take out the lemon and feel the texture of the lemon in your hand. Now take it to a chopping board. Chop it in half, open it, lift it up and smell the citrus. And now raise your hand up and squeeze the citrus juice into your mouth. Now take a bite out of it, even with the skin, and chew with the texture of the skin. Right, open your eyes. If you've done this sincerely, and really imagined it, are you salivating right now? The answer will be yes, unless you didn't do it, or you haven't got an imagination. It's a, a, a normal biological effect of a thought having a physiological response. That's how powerful your brain is. Your brain doesn't know the difference between what you think and what actually happens. This also works the other way around. So when your body goes in a great state, if you force yourself to laugh as ridiculously as you can, eventually you'll, you'll feel like laughing, and some people find it contagious. If you stand in a strong, powerful position for enough, you'll start to feel strong and powerful. There's something called a try, um, Something called a triad, I won't go into it right now. If you breathe very shallow and you shrink your body language, you'll start to feel in a completely different state than if you have big diaphragmic breathing and your head is up and your chest is back. Completely different feeling is your body affecting your mind. If you haven't looked into him, find a guy called Wim Hof on the internet, try his breathing techniques. It's amazing, you'll be able to hold your breath longer than you ever thought possible. Once again, this video is just intended for you to spike your interest to go do your own research. Um, I've been Matt Cowling, speak to you soon.